We're asked to find the equation for the parabola that has its focus at negative two comma six and has a directrix at y equals negative four. Let's go ahead and plot the focus, negative two comma six. And the directrix is a horizontal line, y equals negative four, which is here. Because we have a horizontal directrix and the focus is above the directrix, we should be able to recognize the parabola is going to open up, like shown in the notes on the right. This indicates the equation is going to be in the form of the square of x minus h equals four p times the quantity y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex, and because the parabola opens up, p is greater than zero or positive. So again, we're given the directrix, this horizontal line here, as well as the focus, which is this point here inside the parabola. Recall that the absolute value of p gives us the distance from the vertex to the focus, as well as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. This indicates the absolute value of 2p would give us the distance from the focus to the directrix, which we will use to find the value of p, and then once we find p, we can find the vertex, then once we find the vertex, we'll find the equation. So again, going back to our notes, the distance from the focus to the directrix, this vertical distance here, is equal to the absolute value of 2p. Because it's a vertical distance, we can find the distance by taking the y coordinate of the focus of six and subtracting the y value given by the directrix of negative four. This indicates the absolute value of 2p is equal to six minus negative four, which is equal to positive 10. If the absolute value of 2p is equal to 10, we can divide both sides by two, which indicates the absolute value of p is equal to five. Algebraically, this gives us p equals negative five or p equals positive five, but because the parabola opens up in the direction of the positive y-axis, we know p is going to be positive five. This also indicates that the vertex is going to be five units below the focus, and therefore the vertex is given by the ordered pair negative two comma six minus five. Notice I'm subtracting five from the y-coordinate of the focus because I know the vertex is below the focus. Simplifying the vertex is the point negative two comma one. So now we know that p equals five, h equals negative two, and k equals positive one, which is what we need to find the equation of the parabola. Before we do this though, let's go ahead and plot the vertex. Negative two comma one is here. Notice this vertex is in the middle between the directrix and the focus. And again, the parabola opens up and would look something like this. And now let's go ahead and find the equation of the parabola. And again, we know the equation is in the form of the square of x minus h equals four p times the quantity y minus k. Subbing in the known values, we have the square of x minus negative two is equal to four times p, where p is positive five, times the quantity y minus k, where k is one, giving us times the quantity y minus one. Simplifying, we have the square of x plus two is equal to 20 times the quantity y minus one. I hope you found this helpful.